Now in graph of polynomial, our second part is graph of quadratic polynomial. How to plot graph of quadratic polynomial? We are considering one quadratic polynomial as y is equal to x square minus 4x minus 5. And now we will plot this graph on this quadrant, right? So let's start. Find values of y for x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 or minus 1, minus 2 or minus 3. We can consider we can consider any of the values, but if we will take small values, then exact graph will be there as well as calculation can be easy. So that is why always take small values which are around zeros. Okay, so now consider the table. This is our second step in which for values of x we are finding value of y. So note down x and y in this table. So we have to take 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So in between we are taking 0, x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, we can see from here 0 minus 0 minus 5. So value of y is minus 5. Now plot this point which is 0 minus 5. When x is equal to 0, the value of y is minus 5. Here is this point. 0 minus 5. Now take 1. x is equal to 1. So if I am taking x is equal to 1, then it will be 1 minus 4 minus 5. Shall I write it? If you want, I am writing here x is equal to 1 square minus 4 into 1 minus 5 is equal to 1 minus 4 minus 5. So, your answer is minus 8. So, for x is equal to 1, the value of y is minus 8. Now, take 2. First of all, plot this point 1 minus 8. When x is equal to 1, value of y is minus 8. So here it is. So your point is 1 minus 8. This is second. Now come to second point that is 2. If the value of x is 2, then what will be the value of y? Again put the value in place of x. 2 is square minus 4 into 2 minus 5. So you will get 2 to the 4 minus 8 minus 5. So minus 13 plus 4. 4 minus 13. So you will get how much? Minus 9. Minus 9. So your point which you have to plot is 2 minus 9. When x is equal to 2, the value of this is minus 9. So here this is the point. It is 2 minus 9. You got 3 points. Now come 3. When x is equal to 3. 3 square minus 4. 3 is a 12 minus 5. So it is 9 minus 17. So you are getting minus 8. Okay. So 17 minus 9 is 8. Therefore it is minus 8. When the value of x is 3. So it is minus 8. So 3 minus 8. Again you are coming backward. It means with the value of 3 you are getting minus 8. There is a point 3 minus 8. Another point. Now we are checking this graph with negative values of x. So we are starting with minus 1. Put in place of x minus 1. Minus 1 whole square minus 4 into minus 1 minus 5. What you are going to get? Plus 1 
plus 4 minus 5. It means 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So when the value of x is minus 1, y is equal to 0. So x is minus 1 and y is 0. So this is the point minus 1, 0, which is touching x axis, right? So now one more point which is negative. Here it was 0, minus 2. So in place of x, I am putting minus 2, 4, minus 2, minus 5. So what you are going to get? 4 plus 8 minus 5. 4 and 8, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. So with minus 2, you will get 7. So this way you can find out with minus 3 as well. So minus 3 whole square minus 4 minus 3 minus 5. What is the value? 9 plus 12 minus 5. 9 and 12, 21 minus 5. 21 minus 5 is 16. Okay? So, minus 3 will give you 16 here. So, this way we are going to plot two more points. Minus 2 and 7. Minus 2 and 7. It is here. Minus 2 and 7. And last is minus 3 and 16. Minus 3 and it will go upward with minus 3. This way. So minus 3 and 16. So what is your graph says? The graph is saying you are starting with from this point to this point. Minus 3 to 3 we are moving. So minus 3, minus 2. When you are going to plot this graph on graph sheet, you are going to get a perfect parabola. Somewhere it must be here. Minus 2 and 7. So it is going to get this way. Minus 2. Then 0. Then this. This way this graph will give you this curve which is called parabola. So whenever you are going to get graph of quadratic polynomial, we are going to get this way. As well as you must remember that the degree of quadratic polynomial is 2. Therefore, the zeros of this polynomial must be 2. And you can see from the graph that this graph will touch x-axis at 2 points. So, 0 of this polynomial must be 2. Now, we will do first exercise of this chapter. Now, exercise 2.1. Question number 1. As this exercise is based on same concept which I told you. What was the concept? You have to see the graph where it is touching the x-axis. And we can find out number of zeros. So, in graphs ko dekh kar ke, aap find out kar sakte ho zeros of the given polynomial. The graph of y is equal to px are given below for some polynomials px. Find the number of zeros. So in first question, number of zeros must be what? Number of zeros is equal to zero because it is not touching x-axis. Okay? Now see the fourth part. Here the curve is touching x-axis at two different places. Say A and B. So, therefore, number of zeros must be 2. Reason is, it is passing through 2 points or it is intersecting x-axis at 2 different points. Therefore, number of zeros must be 2. At last, see this graph. It is touching x-axis at 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So, number of zeros, 4. Number of zeros is equal to 4. So, hence this exercise is very easy. You can find out all the solution of all the questions. So, it will be your 
homework. That's all from my side. We will meet you once again in our next lecture. Thank you.